Let's begin that mindful breath where with the exhale, we do introduce tension into the abdomen and use those abdominal muscles to help expel the breath. And then we become very relaxed as we inhale. So it's a nice practice in creating tension and relaxation just within our breath. All together, inhale, bring hands to heart center. Again, introducing that tension and relaxation as you breathe now with this mudra. And sharing the pranava three times. Take a breath in. times the shorter version of the guru mantra take a breath in om hrim shri gurubhyo namaha om hrim shri gurubhyo namaha om hrim shri gurubhyo namaha om shanti Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Exhale, release the hands, open the eyes. Let's come to a standing posture. Let's do a little bit of warm up before we really get into the nitty gritties of our practice today. Standing in Tadasana. Remember, mentally go through all your physical cues, lifting the arch, a little attention on the big toe, outer heel. As I do that, I have a little bit of external rotation of the knee so that I'm not knock kneed. That causes the hips to also externally rotate just a little bit. It, it might be more appropriate to say that there's just a little bit of opening here. Then I check my lower back. Am I overly arching my back? If so, without tightening the glute muscles, I use my hip flexors and the abdominal muscles to just bring the hips forward a little bit. As I do that, I shrug my shoulders up and back. Hands are by my side, soft gaze in front. This is a wonderful pose to cultivate and, and uh, have your body learn how to simply get into it so that when you're standing in the line at the bank or at the grocery store, you can stand in Tadasana and you're nice and balanced. Let's begin. Open up the palms. Inhale. And exhale. And just like we did yesterday, focus on keeping the shoulder blades relaxed and down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Extend through the fingertips. Let's involve the neck now as you inhale, pass through neutral, look at your hands lifting the chin, exhale release, let the chin come back to neutral, and then down to the chest. Again, inhale up, shoulders stay relaxed and down, and exhale. Same motion but looking to the right. Inhale, you pass through neutral, and now look right. Exhale, release the head back to neutral, and then down to the chest. Inhale, left. And exhale. To the right. 
Inhale, neutral, look right. Exhale, reverse, passing through neutral, chin to chest. Left side, inhale. And exhale. Hold here. Side bends, open up the palms, inhale, arms up. At the top, if you can, hands together, drop the shoulders. Inhale, let's grow tall. Loosen up from the pelvis as you exhale to the right. If your balance is good, you feel nice about it, you can turn your gaze to look through the armpit of the left arm. If not, keep your gaze uh, forward. In this position, keep the left arm, that's the top arm, exactly where it is, but turn the right palm down and exhale the right hand down to your right thigh. Let's reverse that process with the right arm. Open up the right palm, inhale up, touch the left palm, and exhale, release. Back down to your thigh. Repeating, inhale up. Exhale down. Keep extending that right arm away from your body, deepening the pose. Inhale up. And exhale. One last time. Inhale. Hold here. Coming out of the pose, inhale. Rise up slowly. Exhale. Release the palms down. Repeating now on the left side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, release the shoulders down. If you can, hands touch. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale to the left. If you can, gaze underneath the right armpit. Keep the top arm where it is. Reverse the palm of the left hand, and exhale, release the left palm down to the left thigh. Inhale up, arm rises up. Exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale. Exhale, release down. Last one. Inhale. Hands are together. Coming out of the pose. Inhale, come up. And exhale, release. Back bend. Inhale, arms up. At the top, release the shoulders down. Find your shoulder blades, release them down towards the spine. Make sure you're nice and centered through the toes, all the way up through the pelvis. Inhale, see if you can grow taller. So you're, you're anchoring through the pelvis and just growing a few centimeters. You can feel the skin moving underneath your clothes as you grow tall. As you exhale, let the shoulders come behind you. Now drop the shoulder blades again. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, find the back bend. Keep pushing the heart up towards the sky so that you're not dumping any weight along the spine. Keep holding. Keep trying to release pressure on the lower spine by extending up and out for four, three, two, one. Coming out, inhale, come back to center. Let's keep our arms right where they are. Go ahead, bend the knees. Bend them a little bit more. Good. Beautiful chair pose with arms extended nicely high. Shine the heart. From here, let's bend at the waist, slowly coming into a forward fold. Take a breath in. As you exhale, bend at the waist. Try and keep your arms extended with the head in between your arms as long as you can. 
It'll be different for each one of us. Slowly come down. Keep extending through the fingertips so that your torso is nice and long. As you get to the bottom, release the hands. Go ahead, keep the knees bent if you like. Really relax here, let the head drop. I don't care if your shoulders are by your ears. Doesn't matter if your hands are in front of your feet or fingers and toes are in line. Whatever feels good for you right now. Just nice relaxation pose here. And let's curl up. So we're going to tuck the head first. Keep the shoulders nice and rounded. As you inhale, roll up. Your hands follow the front of your legs. As they travel up your leg, you're rising up. Keep the chin tucked for as long as you can. Then as you stand up, the shoulders unroll. Head lifts. Soft knees. And we're back into dasana. Let's do a swan dive and stop half at the halfway point. Open up the hands. Inhale, arms up. Okay, bend your knees right here. Drop the shoulders. As you exhale, turn the palms down. Hands come down on the line. Bend at the hips and come down halfway. So to the best of my ability, my back is nicely parallel to the mat right now. Knees are bent, arms are level with my shoulder, my head is in a neutral position. Beautiful. Hold this. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one. Okay, keep your back exactly where it is. We're simply going to lower our arms. So take a breath in. As you exhale, lower your arms towards the mat. So they're just dangling right in front of our feet. But our back is still nice and long. On your next exhale, go ahead and come all the way down. Letting the head drop towards the mat. But this time, roll the shoulders up and back so they're not dangling by our ears. If you like, you can straighten your knees. And now let's try a little experiment. Bend the knees. Straighten the back. Now, can you extend your knees, meaning straighten them, without curving the back? So go ahead, play with that a little bit. You may have to come out of your forward fold a little bit more in order to find movement of the knee without compromising the position of the back. Go slow. All right, and let's all meet in a nice forward fold wherever you're at. I don't care if your hands are in front. Just roll those shoulders back. And let's reverse swan dive, stopping at the middle to come out. Bend the knees, lift the head, lengthen the back. Inhale the arms up to the sides, and you're probably already in a nice position where your torso is parallel to the mat. Halfway. Let's hold here. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. As you inhale, let's rise up all the way, extend the arms up high. And exhale, release the hands back into Tadasana, hands are by our sides. Beautiful. Come to the middle of your mat, facing the long side of your mat, and then open your feet. We're coming into warrior series with some movement. 
Now, don't be afraid as we're going from warrior two to warrior one to change the distance between your feet because we all have different uh, flexibility and levels of mobility and even balance. Remember the trick for balance? You can always have one foot closer to each side of the mat rather than having the feet line up perfectly along the middle line. So feel free to, to use that little trick too. I know I do on my left side. All right, so feet are about three feet apart. Your left foot is your back foot. That should be parallel to the short side of the mat or slightly turned in, 25 degree angles for warrior two. Lift the toes of the right foot, swivel them out towards the short side of the mat. Square the hips. Now right here is a good time to look at your knees. If they're tending to roll in, think about that nice exterior rotation that we do in Tadasana. If that's not possible right now, shorten the distance of your feet. Inhale the arms up on the line. Look at the right hand. Exhale, come down into warrior three. Take a quick look down. Right knee should be over the right ankle, and the best we can, we're still rotating and opening through the pelvis. From here, as I inhale, I keep my legs exactly where they are. Nothing is moving from the pelvis. I simply extend my torso forward over the front knee. Exhale, I bring it back. All right, that's our movement. Let's begin. Inhale forward. And exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. One more time. Inhale forward. And exhale back. Extended side angle. Right hand gently drops down in front of the right thigh. Open up the left palm. Square your body forward towards the long side of the mat. Inhale the left arm up. Drop the shoulder. As you exhale, it's simply a side bend towards the right. But I'm really extending up through this left hand, anchoring through the left foot. Do my best to keep my body squared towards the long side of the mat. If you can, try not to put any weight on this right arm. Just let it kind of dangle here. Nothing is changing in the right knee. Coming out, inhale, come out. Both arms are now on the line. Let's come into the reverse warrior. Gently bring the left arm down, open up the right palm. I'm still facing forward. Inhale the right arm up and drop the shoulder. Exhale, I have a side bend now to the left. Nothing changes in the legs. Now here's a little fun thing to do. I'm going to gently roll my right armpit back so there's a slight back bend. Nice. As I exhale, go ahead, come back to facing forward, nicely squared. That's our movement, all right? Inhale, open. Exhale, come back. Inhale, open. Exhale, come back. One more time. Inhale, open. Exhale, come back. Let's come into warrior two. Inhale, you simply rotate the arms back on the line and look forward. Warrior two. Let's switch to warrior two on the other side. Inhale, both arms up. Swivel on your feet. I square off here and then I exhale into warrior two. Change the gaze. Shifting the weight forward, inhale, shift forward, and exhale, come back. Inhale, shift forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale, come back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Side angle, left arm gently drops in front of that Left thigh, open up the palm of the right, inhale the arm up, face the long side of your mat, square off. Exhale, find your side angle, really stretch. Hold here. Okay. 
And let's come into reverse warrior. As you inhale, you just switch the arms. Now the left arm is up, right arm is in front of my right thigh in the back. Square it off. Exhale, find that side bend towards the right, and then open up. And exhale, close. Inhale, let's open up. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Coming back into Warrior Two. Inhale. Shift the arms back on the line and your gaze is forward. Okay, opposite side, warrior two on the right, inhale, arms up, swivel on your feet, square off, and exhale into warrior two. Inhale, shift weight forward, exhale, come back, side bend, drop the right, open up the left, inhale, left arm up, exhale into your side bend. From here, right into reverse warrior, inhale, switching the arms. Right into Reverse Warrior. Inhale again. Open up the Reverse Warrior, looking up towards the sky. Exhale. Close it. Inhale. Bring the arms back on the line. Right into Extended Warrior. Let's reverse. Coming into Reverse Warrior. Ready? Inhale. Arms. Come back on the line. And now come right into position for Reverse Warrior. Inhale again, open it up, shining the heart towards the sky. Exhale, close it, coming to extended. Inhale the arms back on the line and then come right into your beautiful extended side angle. Reverse Warrior, inhale, arms come back on the line, come into position, right into Reverse Warrior. Inhale again, opening up the heart, Exhale, closing. Inhale, coming to extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Hold here, open up the heart. Exhale, close. Inhale, extended. And now just warrior two. Change the gaze forward. Opposite side, inhale, arms up. Exhale, square off and come right into a nice warrior two on the left. Shifting the weight. Inhale, shift the weight forward. And exhale, come back. Extended side angle. Drop the left hand, open up the right. Inhale, up. And exhale into your side angle. Reverse warrior. Inhale, reverse. Come into position. Inhale again, shine the heart up. Exhale, close. Inhale, reverse the arms, come into side angle. Inhale, reverse, warrior. Hold here and then inhale, open up. And exhale, close. Inhale, reverse the arms as you exhale into your side angle. Reverse warrior, inhale, reverse the arms, come into your warrior, and then inhale again, open up, exhale, close the angle, inhale, side angle, inhale again, let's reverse the arms, coming into reverse warrior, inhale, open up, shine the heart, exhale, close. And come right back into warrior two, left side. Coming into a nice forward straddle, inhale both arms up, swivel the seat so they're in, come down halfway, exhale, come down halfway. Gaze can be down. Try and keep your shoulders nice and even, arms extended, head between your hands, Hips over your ankles. Four, three, two, one. Exhale, release down, relax. I don't care if your shoulders 
or by your ears right now. Just relax. Now, if you're close to getting your elbows on the ground, open your feet just a little bit if you'd like. Maybe your shoulders are touching. I mean, sorry, shoulders, elbows. Man, if your shoulders were touching, I would say, yay, good for you. And then if you're close to getting your head on the ground, go ahead, open up a little bit more if you need to, and put your head on the ground. Now make sure while you're doing these variations that you have not let your body slide backwards. You still want your uh, hips to be in line with your ankles. And stay here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lift the head, lengthen the back. If you um, are in a, a bigger straddle than you're used to, go ahead and close it a little bit so that you can rise up. Let's do reverse swan dive, stopping at the halfway mark. So my head is up, my torso is lengthened. Inhale, extend the arms out to the sides, palms are still down. Let's hold this position. Really think about bringing the shoulders back, bringing the shoulder blades towards the spine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, release the hands. Warrior one. Facing the right, keep the left leg exactly where it is. Open up the toes of the right foot. Now, we want to square off the hips towards the right side. I cannot do that, so I need to make some adjustments. What I'm going to do is close the distance and widen my feet on each side of the mat. Now I can square my hips forward. So these are the kind of adjustments that you know your own body that you, that you may need to make. All right. Both legs are straight right now. Both knees are straight. To the best of my ability, I'm squared off. My pelvis, I feel like it's right in between both legs so that I have equal weight and equal tension on both legs, both feet. Inhale the arms up, and then as you exhale, bend that front knee. Take a look down. Make sure that your knee is nicely over your ankle. I'm still employing tension to make sure my knees don't fall in towards the middle line. So there's some external rotation there. Hold here. Feeling nicely grounded from the pelvis, we're simply going to hinge at the hips and bring our torso forward. So take a breath in. As you exhale, bring the torso forward just so that you have a nice line from your back leg up through the back, through the tip of the fingers, all right? So we're not breaking the line at the waist. Do your best to keep your head in between your biceps. Nothing is changing in the legs. Hold here. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. As you inhale, lift the torso back up, and you come back into your warrior one. All right, if you're feeling tension over your knees, really think about lifting the arch in a slight external rotation. That's going to even out the tension on the outside and the inside of your knee in terms of the ligaments. Let's do it again. Take a breath in. As you exhale, hinge at the hips, and then feel this really beautiful long line as you anchor through the back foot. Let the energy travel up through that left leg, through the pelvis, the spine, top of the head, and out through the fingertips. Eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, and one. Coming out, inhale, just simply lift the torso up, and you're back in. All right, let's swivel to the other side. Inhale, swivel, turn. Set your feet as needed. Nicely squared, exhale into warrior one. Take a look down. You're, like you're, you're happy with your position, you're nicely squared off. Paying attention to lifting the arch. And as you exhale, let's extend the torso over the front knee just a little bit till we have a nice line from back of foot through the spine through the tips of the fingers. Hold. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, come down. Hit that point where you feel nicely extended. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, come back down. Hit the point, you're extended. Inhale, rise up. Last one, exhale, down, hit that nice point of extension, and inhale, come back up. Step me right into Tadasana. As you inhale, come up on the right foot, step forward, exhale, release your hands down. Beautiful, let's come down on the mat, on your spine. There was a lot of tension through the core and the back of the uh, lumbar, so let's do a nice spinal twist here. Arms are extended out to the side. Let's do something really nicely relaxed first. Bend both knees, plant your feet on the mat, just below the buttocks, hip width apart. Now in this position, as you exhale, you simply let the knees fall to the right. So you're resting a little bit on the sides of your feet. For some of you, you're Lace are going to fall all the way down to the mat. For others like me, it does not. So whatever comes natural, just stay there. Head can be neutral. Let's hold here and become mindful of our breath. For eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Coming back to center, take a breath in. Exhale, contract, feel that little tilt, and the knees float right back up to center. Opposite side, take a breath in. And exhale, knees gently float to the left. Your gaze can stay looking up at the sky. You can gently turn it to the right, wherever you feel more release. Mindful of our breath and the movement of our belly for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one. Let's all come out together. Take a breath in. Exhale, contract. Feel that soft tilt. Knees are back into position. 
feet are flat on the mat. Let's come into a bridge pose. Remember, the focus here is on the rib cage, shining the heart, not on the lower back or the hip points. Palms down, bring them underneath your butt. Using a pelvic tilt to help us lift up into the bridge, take a breath in, exhale, contract, tilt. Keep bringing the hips up. As the hips come up, we have room to roll our shoulders underneath. Clasp the hands if you can, or perhaps your ankles. Now, as you breathe, you keep lifting the sternum towards or in the direction of your head. That causes the chin to really have a nice flexion towards the chest. Or I should say extension. You're extending the neck. Hold here. Keep thinking about lifting up the ribcage, shining the heart. You should feel some release of tension through the upper back and the neck. Hold, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, to come out, take a breath. As you exhale, release the shoulders, release the upper back, middle back, lower back, and then the hips. Bringing our knees to the chest, take a breath in. As you exhale, contract, tilt, float the knees towards the chest, hands to knees, knees to chest. In this position, as you exhale, lift the head up and tuck the chin, Perhaps your head or forehead is touching your knees. If not, don't worry. Just stay here in a nice ball. Take the weight of your body into your biceps. So you're tucking the chin, giving a nice stretch to the back of your neck, doing your best to take all the tension into the biceps. Hold here. Soft, deep breaths for four. Three, two, and one. Now, if you're comfortable with your neck here, leave it where it is. If you're not comfortable, you can do the following with your head on the, the mat, okay? It doesn't matter. So, from this position, take your hands, hold your left knee exactly where it is. As you exhale, extend the right knee, foot up towards the sky. You're still kind of rolled up into a ball. Hold here. As I exhale, I'm going to extend my right leg towards the mat, but I'm not going to let it rest on the mat. It's just going to float above the mat. All right? So take a breath in. As you exhale, extend that right leg down the mat, float it about, I don't know, three, four inches above the mat, so if you're able to hold your head up, you're looking straight down your body, and you can see your right foot. Hold here. Four. Three. Two. One. Okay, a little bonus. Keep your legs exactly where they are. Extend your arms up towards the sky. Palms facing one another. Hold. Four. Three. Two. And one. Release your hands back to your left leg. As you exhale, let's raise the right leg up. So ready? Take a breath in first. As you exhale, feel that contraction and the tilt and float the right leg up. Let's switch legs. Left leg is now extended up towards the sky. Right knee is bent. I'm holding on to the right knee. Exhale, extend the left leg down. Let it float above the mat. You're looking right at it. Bonus, extend the arms up high. Four. Three. Two. 
one. Now, if you want to try, keep your arms in the sky, and we're going to raise our left leg up. Take a breath in. Exhale, contract, tilt, and raise it up. Yay. Let's keep our arms exactly where they are. Switch legs. Right leg is now extended. Left knee is bent. If you like, keep your arms exactly where it is. And as you exhale, extend the right leg down. Float it above the mat, looking right at my toes. Reversing, take a breath in. Exhale, contract, tilt. And the right leg comes up. Switch legs. Exhale, extend the left leg down. Floating above the mat, looking right at my toes. Reversing, take a breath in. Exhale, contract, tilt, and raise it up. Go ahead, bring your hands down to the mat, release the head. Extend the right leg to meet the left. Now, if this is comfortable for you, great. If you're not feeling really comfortable, you can put your hands underneath your butt. That raises the hips a little bit, changing the angle of the lower back so it becomes more comfortable. So whatever you're good with. Let's hold this. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. From here, let's come right into another spinal twist. Extend the arms out to the sides. Now, if your back, lower back is giving you problems or, or your neck and you don't want to do the spinal twist with your legs extended, then please bend your knees. Remember in yoga, practice pain does not mean gain. Pain actually slows down your progress in your yoga practice. So choose what is comfortable for you. This is a spinal twist with legs extended or knees bent. As you exhale, your legs will come to the right and you're going to look to the left. Now, if you chose to have your knees bent, if you'd like to experiment, you can always come all the way down with knees bent and then straighten your knees and see how that feels on your lower back. Let's hold here. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Same thing as we lift our legs back up towards the sky. You can do it with legs bent, knees bent, or with them straight. But do the pelvic tilt because that is what's going to stabilize the lower back. So all together, take a breath in. Exhale, contract, feel that tilt, and then float the legs up. Left side, take a breath in. And exhale, let the legs come to the left, you look to the right. Holding here for eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and one. Choose how you want to bring your legs up, and then all together, take a breath in. Exhale, contract, tilt, legs come up. As you exhale, bend the knees, plant the feet, and extend the legs down. 
Okay, if you have a cushion or a block, let's come into a supported waterfall pose or sh supported um, shoulder stand. You put the block or the cushion, remember, underneath your seat bones and between your lower back. And it's going to look different for each person depending on the curvature of your spine. So you want to get the cushion in place so that when you put your feet up, your back has absolutely no pain. You feel the weight of your body across the back of your shoulders. Your neck is really nice and comfortable. Once you're in position, do not move your head from side to side. If you feel nice and stable, go ahead, extend the arms out to the side, palms up, or even over your head, palms up, whatever is good for you. And let's just enjoy this. As we hold it, there's a lot of physical benefits going on in this position. So even though it's easy to hold, it's very beneficial. If you'd like, you can bend the knees if your legs are getting numb or a little tired because we're going to hold this for four minutes. Close your eyes and take these next four minutes as a little mini meditation with yourself where you really are mindful of your breath. If you lose your way, you can chant, I am here or I am present.
And let's come out. So listen to my words first. If you're on a block, you want to bring your hands, palms down next to your block, bend your knees, plant your feet, and then take the block out. If you're on a cushion, you still bring your hands down to the cushion or the mat, bend the knees, but you're just going to roll forward and end up sitting, okay? So let's all come out of our props, wherever we are. Lay back down on the mat, knees to chest, hands to knees, and roll from side to side. Let's all meet in the middle. As you exhale, release the hands to the mat. Release the feet to the mat right behind your buttocks. And then only the right leg. As you exhale, extend the right leg down the mat and really push from the bottom of your heel and feel that extension from the heel through the hip as you elongate the leg. And now the left leg. As you exhale, Run the left foot down the mat until the toes lift up and you're extending through the heel and feel a nice lengthening through the hip on the left leg. And then relax both legs, letting the knees and the feet come out to the outside. Lift both arms up towards the sky. Clasp your hands together, palm to palm. As you inhale, take uh, stretch the shoulders off the mat. And now release the arms, palms up. And as you exhale, lower both arms, really reaching out through the shoulders. And place the hands next to the hips. And then relax. If you're comfortable lifting your head up off the floor without any support, lift the head off the floor, tuck the chin so you're looking down your body. And now as you exhale, keep the chin tucked as long as you can as you bring the head back down to the mat. And then relax. And Savasana. If you can stay in your savasana for a little longer, please do so. 
If you're ready to come out, let's observe our breath first. Feel the breath as it enters the nostrils and then exits as you exhale. With that awareness, let's move our toes and ankles. Fingers and wrists. Knees and elbows. Hips, spine. Gently move the neck. And then all together, let's exhale and roll over to one of our sides. With the support of your hands, as you exhale, rise up in a seated position. Close the eyes. Inhale, hands to heart center. Find that awareness of your breath once more. And share the pranava one time. Take a breath in. Exhale, bowing down to the teacher within. And inhale, gently come up. Open the eyes. You're back into full awareness. Namaste. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy your day. Hope to see you tomorrow.